It all began with the first flickering light bulbs replacing oil lamps. Since then, electricity has sparked a revolution in society's relationship with energy. Fossil fuels are playing the lead role in power supplies today. But these days, the electrification revolution has begun to move into a new era as end users change the way they power their cars and heat their houses. The market for renewable sources of energy will grow as these become more economically viable, meaning society has to develop advanced power grids to manage electricity demand, supply and distribution. Our whole world around electricity is in turmoil because the, 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 the rules by which we understood the market system uh, seem to no longer apply. Well, if we uh, look at the predictions of the IPCC report, then going on with business as usual is not an option anymore. In the energy world, in the electricity world, we have so many solutions. There are so many opportunities to make the electricity system uh, more sustainable. Looking around, we have the potential to harvest renewable energy from almost anywhere. Both small and large-scale renewables are gradually changing the energy landscape. We already see a rooftop solar revolution taking place and other areas are bound to follow suit. One such example of a renewable resource that has a large potential is offshore wind. It's the ideal renewable power source for land-strapped countries and is, we believe, only at the start of its ascent. The key to capitalizing on renewables is courage and collaboration. DNVGL is therefore pushing hard on technological development, continuously researching and experimenting to launch new solutions towards a safer, smarter and greener electrified future. New technology makes everyone a part of the solution. The rise of the smart grid allows consumers to contribute to the power system through the use of electric vehicles, rooftop PVs and other smart appliances. Smart grid technology will smooth and renewables passage into the existing grid structures. I think the word smart is very important in this, the notion of smart grid. It's uh, really how do we best use both the infrastructure that's already been put in place, um, how do we best use the technologies to reduce wastage, how do we actually balance generation and demand in a very clever way? The power matching city in Groningen, which was led by uh, the NVGL, is, is one of the first few examples of a real smart energy system. Because it combines all the equipment, all the appliances in the homes with electric cars, with storage, into an integrated system. In this neighborhood we make our own energy and we share it with other people and so we are becoming from consumers, we are becoming producers. Producing your own energy is really motivating to become aware of uh, your energy use and if we are able to deliver it to one another, if we are able to store it, and to reuse it when we really need it, then we are a decentralized energy plant. There are a lot of advantages. Uh, we do some good things to the uh, green world and, uh, and it also saves money. And that implies that the marginal cost of energy will become zero. It is only your investments that you have to make. But if you have made those investments, energy is free. To push some of these solutions, you need the end users to actually have to play a part in energy efficiency and be willing to adopt some of the technologies. You need the government to put in place progressive policies and of course the companies um, to come in. In the world of energy where we work, we possess a, a number of laboratories where we do all kinds of different tests which can vary from very small microscopic tests up to mega testing from high voltage equipment. But they all contribute to the same target that we always have and that's a safe and reliable supply and use of electricity. The deployment of these technologies depends on acceptance and support from policymakers, investors and the consumers. DNVGL's technical expertise and systems approach 
can enable decision makers to optimize for economic, environmental and social benefits. I actually believe that if as an energy company you don't reinvent yourself and you don't make that transition, there will be no role for you in the future energy system. You could say maybe 80 to 90 percent of all the solutions are there. Technology is there, possibilities are there. Now what we have to do is to connect the dots of the, the, of the other 10 percent. And once we are able to put the, all this together, we will have lots of opportunities for a safer, greener, smarter world.